What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about how I generate about $1,530 a day in revenue like on average. Now this may just sound like a completely clickbaity video um, and I guess it is to a certain extent but really there's a lot of valuable information in this video. We're going to be talking about how I've successfully for the most part at least removed my time from my main source of income. Um, which has been super, super beneficial to me because it's allowed me to focus my time on building other streams of income, other stores, and uh, you know, overall just focusing on other businesses. And that's just had a huge, huge impact on my success. So that's something that I wanna share with you and show how you can replicate the same process that I took. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. All right guys, so I just wanna say really quickly that the point of making this video is not to brag, it's basically to just show you what is possible um, when you put in a ton of effort on the front end because that's kind of how e-commerce works. It takes a ton of effort and then it kind of goes down if that effort ends up turning into something sustainable and something working. Like with this store right here, um, I'm selling products that I have not that much competition for um, because I took the time to test like blue ocean products, meaning products that maybe don't have a huge track record of selling, or at least from other drop shipping stores. Like for my products, I know that they sell really good with like large established brands, but there's not many drop shipping stores selling them. So it's really important to transfer uh, that success and kind of just separate yourself so that you can get something that works long term. Like this store has been going on for well over two years and um, it's been doing five figures for like well, well over a year, um, probably over a year and a half now. Um, so yeah, I just wanna show you like literally what's possible and how once you get to a certain point, like it really doesn't take that much time. And um, it's super, super important to basically um, you know, have the right mindset so that you're not working in your business, you're working on your business. And what that means is once you get to a certain point, um, you should really be outsourcing like everything that's not beneficial for you. Like for me, um, I, I will, I we'll talk about this later on in the video, but I outsource a lot of things and that basically means like the bulk of my work is just doing Facebook ads, which I enjoy and, um, you know, I like learning and I like doing, but, um, that's really like, that's what your goal should be when you're starting an e-commerce store. And, um, you just need to realize that all those nights, all those days where you're working like a ton and you never think you're going to get to this point, like it pays off. It really, really does. Uh, so if you're in the, if you're in that position right now, just just keep going you know it's really not that hard i promise you and overall just trust the process all right so just to give you a little breakdown of how my day generally goes and what those two hours are spent doing um i'm just going to talk about what i do on a day-to-day -day basis in order to like you know keep up with this main store now um the first thing i do this is like what i do like the first work thing that I do every day is Facebook ads. Now this generally takes me about 15 to 45 minutes depending on um, you know how aggressive I want to scale. Generally every day I'm just gonna you know kill unprofitable ad sets and maybe like tweak a little things um, you know increase the budget here you know make a new CBO or something like that um, but yeah generally it's about like 15 to 30 minutes and then I'm like a um, you know, some like a day where I'm trying to really scale hard. Uh, they can it can be somewhere from like 45 to an hour, uh, may, maybe a little bit more than that. But really, um, generally, it's about 15 to 30 minutes. And then um, another thing that I need to do is pay for my AliExpress orders. Now, uh, most of my products don't go through AliExpress; they go through an agent and um, actually a U.S. fulfillment warehouse, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm getting up and running, but anyway, um, I do have a VA that pays, or not pays, I do have a VA that orders my like Oberlo products uh, because some of them still do go through AliExpress, um, but he can't like pay for them just because uh, that would get like my card flagged and everything since he's in a different country. 
Um, so basically, I just have to go in and pay for my AliExpress orders. Um, it's really easy and it takes like five minutes. Another thing that I have to do every day is help my uh, customer service VA with some orders. Now, every day basically she just says, you know, this order got sent back to your agent or this order came in damage, you know, stuff like that. And um, I just have to communicate with my suppliers, like my agent or, you know, whoever's shipping the product and uh, make sure that those orders are handled. Now, she does like everything else for me as far as customer service goes, which is really, really great. Um, and that's like, that's the bulk of your time really. Like I was spending, you know, 30 minutes to like an hour every single day on customer service. And that really, really, really adds up. So I definitely recommend you get a customer service VA. That's definitely one of the best decisions I've made. And um, I may actually go through at the end of this video and just show you how much all of my VAs cost. Cause really when you break it down, like it's not that expensive. And the value that I'm getting from what I pay them is just like, it's like a 10 X return. Like it's crazy. Now that's all that I have to do on like a daily basis. And then there are some things that I have to do like either on a weekly basis or just like semi regularly. Um, and one of those is scheduling influencers. Now this generally takes about 30 minutes. Um, I already have like all the winning influencers written down and like I run with them like every single week basically. Um, but you know, it takes some time to send them the posts and you know, check if they're available for a certain date and stuff like that. So scheduling influencers, that's about once a week and that's about 30 minutes of my time. Another thing that I have to do semi regularly is responding to chargebacks and disputes. Now, um, everyone's really going to get these. It doesn't really matter how good you know, your shipping times are or anything like that. There's always gonna be like fraudulent orders and you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So um, responding to chargebacks is not something that I've outsourced yet, uh, but that can take anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes, to, depending on like how many you have and um, you know, how complicated they are. Another thing that I have not yet outsourced and I have to do semi-regularly, generally about once a week, is um, making my emails for email marketing. Now, I have flows that are constantly going that are already set up and all that, but I also try to send one campaign every week that's like specifically tailored. Like, you know, I, I customize it and make it. Um, and that could be something providing value to my customers or that could be something providing like you know, a discount or, you know, showing them a new product or something like that. I generally try to alternate between providing value, which would just mean like, you know, showing them something really cool that's going on in my niche. Or I try to, you know, I try to alternate between that and like giving them a discount or selling them on something. So that can take anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes on average. And like I said, I do that about once a week. And then the last thing that I do I guess about once a week um, is making ads. Now making ads really has two parts because now I'm only using my own content. Like I don't take videos from YouTube anymore uh, for the most part. And I try to record all of my products, like all my videos, all my ads are made by myself. Uh, now generally like I kind of suck on camera, like not talking, a little bit talking, but anyway, I suck like recording videos and stuff like that. So I hire people to do that and then I have to like edit them and stuff like that, which can take a long, long time. Uh, so generally I would say that takes about one to two hours and then it really can take more depending off your, on like if I'm doing an entire photo shoot or if I'm just like, you know, snapping some pictures or some videos with my iPhone and just editing those and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that generally takes about one to two hours and that's something that I try to do about once a week uh, just because I really don't want my ads to get saturated and even if they're working really well now, there's no guarantee that they're gonna work in the future so you should always be you know, constantly cycling in new creatives and constantly testing different ads. All right, so what has allowed me to make well over $1,000 every single day without much upkeep at all and really i gotta say like unfortunately the answer is working like seven to nine hours every single day has allowed me to do this because um you know when you put in a ton of work when you test a ton of ads when you test a ton of products when you just find out what works um then you know it's a lot easier because the testing phase is really like what takes the most of your time and um another big thing that's allowed me to do this it's getting really comfortable with Facebook ads. Cause I remember I used to just do influencers 
And um, you know, that was great. I was making a lot of profit, but at the same time, it takes so, so much time to contact the influencers and schedule them. And all that is just a major headache. So once you learn Facebook ads and you can literally just go in and like, you know, mess with all your campaigns and stuff like that effectively, um, then that's really going to save you a lot of time. And then like I was saying earlier, having a VA is just incredible. Um, have multiple if you need to, but anyway, just like outsource the stuff that doesn't benefit you. Like outsource a simple task that you're not going to like, you know, get any, um, any long-term value out of. Like for example, with Facebook ads, I don't outsource that. Um, just because I'm, I like, in, I enjoy learning and I know I need to learn Facebook ads. So it really like helps me. And plus that's like super complicated and I wouldn't, like I would have to pay a, a lot of money to get someone to do that well. But with customer service or like fulfilling orders and stuff like that, like it's so cheap. I'm actually gonna show you right now like how much it is for my VAs. But like I said earlier, like I get so much more value out of what I'm paying them um, for my time. Like it's, it's so worth it. And I would definitely recommend you get some VAs um, I would recommend you get a VA to fulfill orders. Once you're doing about like maybe like five sales a day consistently, like that may not sound like a lot, but really you just should not ever have to worry about, you know, your orders getting fulfilled. And um, there are some services that kind of do this automatically. Like with DSers, you can go in and place all your orders at once. Um, same with Oberlo now, if you upgrade to their like $30 a month plan. Uh, but anyway, I would either do that or I would get a VA and the VA is like preferable. And then for a customer service VA, I would recommend you hire one once you're doing about 700 to $900 a day um, in revenue consistently. So one of the great parts about e-commerce is that it starts out with a ton of work, like at least five hours every single day if you really wanna make it. And that's not fun at all. But once you do start to find stuff that works, like once you find, you know, a winning product or like a winning ad and like stuff like that, once you really start to get a good idea of what works for you, then it really takes, it's like a gradual decline of the amount of effort that it takes to like be successful, I guess. Um, Cause even when you're scaling like, you know, hardcore, you really don't have to work like, you know, 10 hours every day. Um, because you just you don't need to when you're testing maybe you do you need to like create ads and like do all this other stuff um but when you're scaling like it really doesn't take that much effort especially if you're using facebook ads so once you do get to a certain point where you're making like you know a good amount of money and you can outsource your time from that business then that just allows you to cash in on that business while you're focusing on different stores and different businesses when you're an entrepreneur, your time compounds upon itself. And what that means is like, if you're working a regular job and you make $10 an hour and you work eight hours and that's cool, you made $80 in a story period. But if you're an entrepreneur, then you may work, then you may work like eight hours and make $0. But those eight hours may contribute to something bigger uh, to where you can sleep for eight hours and make, you know, $500. Like, being an entrepreneur is so different from a nine to five, but it's so worth it. And all of those days where you're not making any money and you're still working so, so, so hard, they're worth it for the days that you really don't have to work that hard and you still make a large amount of money. So overall, I just want to say, trust the process. And once you do get to a certain point where you're making like a decent amount of money, then definitely, definitely outsource your time. If you want me to make a video that talks about like how to find VAs and how to hire them and everything like that, then I'm happy to do so, but it's really, really not that hard. My VA to fulfill my orders, he's from Fiverr, and my VA to do my customer service, she's from Upwork. They're really not that expensive and they're so, so, so worth it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're able to take a lot of value out of it and hopefully you're able to see kind of what's possible when you work really hard and you kind of get to a stable point, I guess. On your way out, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next one.